guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new here I am Briani and today I will be doing my very very simple makeup routine because I think these types of videos are the ones that are more not like trendy videos but it's more like I think everyone does it because it's kind of like a get to know me type of video it's more like a personal you guys get to see the things that I do the things that I use and like how bad my makeup routine is because I don't know anything about makeup but I still like it you know what I mean as you can tell I'm right out the shower so besides my makeup I wanted to show you guys what I do like as soon as I get out the shower with like my face washed I do have very dry skin so like my skin right now feels so dry and like not tight but you know when it gets so dry if you know what I mean you know what I mean like it gets dry so the first thing I like to use is some rose water um, spray mist and I like to use like whatever's on my desk like so I can blow myself and that's, this is what's on my desk right now. Alright. Once I have that on, I like to go in and whatever's still not dry, just like pat it on. And then the next thing, I did mention that I do have very, very dry skin. So the um, cream, the face cream, or like in general cream that I use is this Intensive Repair, um, the Eucerin cream. So I just grab that and then I put it on my cheeks, forehead, chin, and then I like to put some on my neck because why not? So once I put the cream on, the next thing I do like to use is this Materma. Um, it's kind of like an ointment type thing and it's for scarring and like dark circles Not dark circles like under your eyes, but like dark spots from like acne scars basically And I did get this recommended by my doctor So I don't suggest you go and like buy it off of Walgreens because it is available at Walgreens But like do make sure that you go to your doctor and check if it's something that it's going to be good for your skin and if it's going to react well with you because it does work well with me but you know it depends on everyone's skin so go check with your doctor first just don't go and buy it <laughs> so what I like to do is just like look at the little spots that I've um, created basically by popping my pimples and I just go in and like I dab like you just gotta dab like you don't need that much so you put that on and then you just tap tap tap. Okay, so the first thing I like to start with are my eyebrows and I do use this eyeliner gel. I don't know um, what brand it is because it did wear off but it's this like dark chocolate brown color and I just go in and you know like brush my eyebrows. I like to go in and do the, like the whole line thing and then like fill it in and then brush it out. So that's what I do. Alright, so after I have this, I like to go in and use the Fenty Beauty Foundation. <laughs> Next I use the eyebrow like mascara tinted mascara just to set the eyebrow hairs in place and then I go over with the carving brush basically to clean up any edges Here's the one that I just did, and now I have to do this one. For my mascara, I always use the Lash a Sensational, and it's the waterproof, because if I don't use the waterproof, I literally curl my lashes for no reason, because the non-waterproof, I also have it, the pink one, it brings my lashes down again, and I did not just go through this whole thing 
to get my lashes back down. You know what I mean? Eyelashes. What I like to do is take the Pixi Dulce Candy um, palette for blush and lips. So what I like to do is take the color Beso and Flor. So first I go in with Flor. I just tap it along with like my middle finger. And then just blend it up with a little uh, the different finger and then if I want to apply more like I'll just put it with this one I can't tell if I put too much or if it's the camera or if I'm actually like I just look sunburned but anyway I do like to put a little <laughs> a lot of blush um, lately I've been liking a lot of blush but I do like just to like you know Keep blending it out and then like just work it around and see where it goes and then I like to do um, take the beso color and then add just a little bit literally just tap it Okay, after I have the blush on, I like to take the Milani um, Sun Glow 03 um, highlighter because I like this one a lot because it's very, very like, it gives you like that natural glow. It looks like you're shimmering in the sun rather than like wearing heavy makeup, which I really like. So the next step in my makeup routine, I like to take this mentol. It's from Guatemala, and it's um, it's chapstick. So I like to put on chapstick, and then I like to take the Anastasia lipstick in the shade Stevie, and it's a matte lipstick. And I just like to literally tap, just like tap it. Because I don't, I don't want the full color, I just want like a little bit. Alright, and then the final step is this liquid um, nourishing lip oil. It, it's kind of like a lip gloss. It's, not, it's like in between, it's like a liquidy lip gloss, if that makes sense. And I like it because it's not sticky and it feels so, so soft on the lips. Like you don't really feel... Anything just feels really really nice and it's from AOL, it's from Shop Miss A, it was only a dollar. It's super super cute. I think this is the apple one. I like the apple one because it was, it's uh, a little bit more like rose tinted which is really really cute. So, and then a lot does come off when you bring it out so I do like to take like a few swipes. Alright guys, so that was all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And yeah, it's just like a very, very simple makeup look. Um, this, is what is, this is what I've been doing literally every single day for the past like month, I think. I got into using a lot more blush and highlighter because I... Okay, so I thought you could only do that like once you do like your full face, honestly. And I don't like wearing a lot of foundation because I, my skin is so dry that I feel it makes it look crusty and it, like just doesn't go right with me. I, I think I look uglier with foundation on than I do without foundation on. So it's just like a personal preference. So that's why I never used to wear like blush or highlight because I thought it, you have to have like your full on foundation just to wear it. But now I've been liking without it, like it looks so natural. Like that pixie palette makes your blush look so so natural and real. So that's what I've been doing every single day with a little bit of highlight. And I think it looks super super cute, super super simple. And it is the easiest thing I do. Honestly, it's like so easy. So it's a lot lot better than most. 
of like the other things I used to do with makeup and the only time I do wear foundation is like if I want to go out um, like to a party or anything like that or if I just want to get ready then I'll just put foundation on but if I have any recommendations for a very very dry skin I highly highly beg you basically <laughs> to leave a comment down below and let me know which products are really good for dry skin because I feel like my makeup always looks crusty like if I wear foundation it looks crusty and it just doesn't look right because I have really really dry skin I do use like a dewy foundation which makes it a little bit better but still you know like I just feel kind of like awkward with this sometimes but if you guys have any recommendations or products you guys would like me to um, try that would be amazing and don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you enjoy this video by the way the lighting has been changed for like ever so I'm sorry if you guys have like trouble seeing this whole thing <laughs> but anyway thank you guys for watching and see you in my next video bye